Welcome to Eight of Cups Tarot and welcome to your cards for July and happy birthday. Happy birthday to all the June and July Cancers. You have a special place in my heart. I have a Cancer moon, so I feel very connected to your energy. Um, and I understand where you come from emotionally. So this month is pretty profound. Again, I feel as though I probably say that every month, but this is it, Cancer. This is your moment. This is your season. And not only is it a special time of year for you, but the universe is granting you something very special. You are clearly the chosen sign of the zodiac. You are the beacon of hope and you become the example for the rest of us, many of which are floundering in the activity of the cancer energy in which you rule. You are much better at this terrain than anyone else. But with that being said, as you become a beacon of your authority, King of Pentacles, as you begin to step up into your leadership, you may be looking down and looking around you and seeing a lot of your people, a lot of your relationships, a lot of your projects, jobs, flailing in the emotional terrain. That's why it's important for my cancers that you come from a place of compassion this month. Six of Cups in the very center of your reading. Cancer, this is your time because the universe is not only giving you the opportunity to really show what you've learned in the past 20 months with these nodes in Cancer and Capricorn. This is your final eclipse. This is zero degrees, the purest form of Cancer. And on top of it, we have Mercury moving retrograde, allowing you again to learn from the past, to be able to exercise enough forgiveness with yourself and understanding, which gives you the capacity to make better decisions. And here's the time when you make the decisions. You have a full moon solar eclipse at the end of June. It actually happened today, the day that I'm taping this. And there's a very specific reason because the veil is very open. And it was important for me to get this reading out today to get you the correct advice that you need to navigate through the next month. Um, Zero degrees cancer means that you are also given a second new moon in July. Now there is a Capricorn lunar eclipse in your seventh house of partnerships, meaning there's an end of a cycle. There could be endings to relationships, partnerships, dissolving of contracts. But these aren't things that are going to surprise you. These are things you've known about and understanding where you're coming for, from in this authenticity of self that you're stepping into. You're no longer looking at the things that don't work out as a victim. You're seeing them for the opportunities that they offer you. If there's nothing more you take from this reading, understand that the things that do not work out out in July is for your greater good and the easier that you can let go and allow growth whatever is removed from your life comes back tenfold let's get into these cards first card out Seven of Wands in reverse. Now, to be specific, I did not pull reversals. There were none put in my deck. 
as I did this reading. So that energy came and actually spun itself on the table. I never argue with spirit when those things happen. So let's talk about the seven of wands in reverse. You're letting go of situations in which you felt power struggles. My seven of wands is always power struggles. This could be with you and others. It could be the feeling like you have to continually comp compete. You have to match a certain level at all times. It's almost a level of perfection that you have to maintain and you're letting that go in July. There's a shift in priorities for sure for you. And you're beginning to realize that meeting other people's expectations of you is too much. Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands indicates that you are at the end of something profound. I always like this card in this deck in particular because you see there's a castle, a home in the distance and he's getting close. He's getting close to reaching material levels of the things that he has been building. And in letting go to that that does not serve you, meeting other people's expectations, staying strong. You know, the Seven of Wands always reminds me of you know, when people say, how are you doing? How are you feeling? How are things going? Um, my cancers will most likely always put on a smiling face. It is a need to please others, to make others feel comfortable. If others are comfortable, cancer is safe. And the thing about July is that you don't get to play it safe anymore. A lot of things are happening externally, making things very vulnerable. And what you don't realize is although cancer is known to look for safety and security, of course, they're not afraid of rough waters. They're not afraid of emotional confrontations. They're not afraid of loss. Not the way one would think. Cancers just feel it more. And that's what we're stepping out of is the expectation that we keep everything kosher. We keep everything inside. We keep our feelings to ourselves. We put on a front like everything is fine. We've got this. And it creates too much of a burden. Ten of Wands. King of Pentacles. You don't realize how very close you are how very close you are to attaining those goals, to attaining a firm foundation. This is a commitment. This is something that stands the test of time. This is Saturnian energy. This is Taurus energy. The King of Pentacles is in control. He has enough. He can provide for others, which is going to be a theme throughout cancer season where you're going to be providing a lot of insight to others. Like I said, you step into a form of leadership and authority. Now, the Four of Cups. Comes out like this. Now, this tells me that there is something in your life that you feel disappointed about that isn't quite to the level you had hoped it would be. Now, this doesn't have to be major disappointment. This could quite honestly be discontent. This could be boredom. This could be taking things for granted. But there's something special about this particular Four of Cups because it comes out next to the card in the center of the reading. Four of Cups, 
and the Six of Cups. Now we have to talk about the Six of Cups because this energy, my hair's going crazy, this energy is the state of our dreams, the state of our ability to imagine. But it talks a lot about our past. There's a lot of things in this reading that point to me that you are spending a lot of time mentally and emotionally in the past. You're probably closing out old projects which will bring you relief. The things that you could close out in the month of July will make space for the things that can come in. And the quiet time, the Four of Cups, what might feel like things being delayed. Now remember the King of Pentacles is a very strong and authentic energy and he's, uh, he's stable but he's slow moving. If you want something to last a really long time, then you put in the time and effort and what you build takes a long time. In the quiet time, in the time that it's taking to build, it's important that you revisit old parts of yourself. Times when you gave away your heart, times when you felt comfortable enough to be vulnerable. The Six of Cups is that of like a childlike freedom emotionally. It's a fairy tale. It's a fantasy. It's our past lives, our past comforts. And the Six of Cups plays a really big role for you this month. This could symbolize spending more time with your children. This could signify spending time with your siblings, cousins, people you grew up with as a child. It could be reconnecting to parents, hearing stories that maybe change your perspective on how you grew up. The Six of Cups is the perfect energy of Mercury retrograde in Cancer. If you look as a whole in a mundane astrology type of way, if you look at the way this energy is playing out for our collective, we are attempting to reach a place of compassion and forgiveness where we can wipe the slate clean and rebuild. But this time we rebuild from a place of wisdom, but we don't forget to integrate that level of fantasy and imagination that makes it worth it. We see a lot of looking back right now as we learn about our current energies politically playing out. You may be looking back to maybe past leaders, past administrations, past situations that we may have honestly agreed with at the time. And we may be realizing that although the decisions that we made in the past came from a good place, what we truly believed in, now we can forgive ourselves and we can make it right. And July has a lot to do with making it right. Justice card. Justice card coming out directly under this King of Pentacles. What you have been working on for the past two years comes to fruition now. The universe has no choice but to give you exactly what you have coming for the effort you have exerted. It's important to not spend a lot of time feeling disappointed in others. Everyone is going through emotional turmoil, through extensive changes. We're changing our minds. Everyone around you is changing their minds. 
They're changing their vibration. July is a month of ascension for each and every one of us. And it's important to understand that now is not the time to pass judgment on others. In fact, there's no greater way to waste your time now than to be disappointed in others' actions. It's much better to let things unfold organically. Let things happen, let the dice fall where they're meant to fall because there's no doubt even if one thing falls apart, the universe is working on giving you something that is so special. Something you will never forget. Something that brings you back to a childlike state. Your ability to believe in the good in people again. Your ability to believe in love. To believe in family to believe that the hopes and dreams you have can and will come true. The Four of Cups is often a gift. A gift that comes to you when you least expect it. A gift from the divine that you didn't even consider asking for. It can come in the form of a disappointment, disenchantment in somebody that you held a high esteem for. Then it's okay for that energy to change. It's okay for you to change. It's okay for you to stay true to what you need emotionally, what you need to feel safe. It is okay to ask for those things. Justice card was so prophetic because the next line of cards. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Moon. Seven of Pentacles is our flow state. Our ability to keep our head down and continue doing the things that we love. The things that come naturally. This is where you find your productivity. This is where you find your strength in the month of July, in the little things, in the attention to details, in the working hard and losing yourself. Because the effort that you put in, as I said, by the promise of the Justice card, by the promise of the Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles, and by the promise of the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Moon, the thing that you don't see is that what you're putting in is giving back. That somebody, maybe many people, will decide to see cancer as an example. They will begin to believe in you because you decided to believe in yourself. And from believing in you, they'll want to invest in you. They will want to build with you. And the Six of Pentacles is a promise as well that what you give is what you will receive in return. This is an ending of a cycle of relationships in which you carried all of the burdens in which maybe you were faced with a lot of disappointment, maybe things didn't meet you on an emotional level the way that you had hoped. Maybe they didn't reach a real deep level. This comes up again. If you are settling for relationships in your life, and this could be friendships, relationships with your kids, relationships with your parents, your coworkers, if you were keeping yourself safe and not expressing yourself, if you were playing it safe and not going deep into your feelings, this is where this changes. You begin to feel safe and it's not because somebody else is making you feel safe, it's because you deserve to feel safe. You deserve to be in love. You deserve to feel love. 
and you cannot tolerate relationships that don't give that in return. If you're struggling in a job that you feel you don't get paid nearly enough for what you put into it, the universe is going to correct that situation. If you're in a relationship in which you keep giving and giving of your heart and you get very little in return, the universe is also going to take care of that. The only thing that you have to do this month, Cancer, is focus more on that Six of Cups and less on the fear. The sphere becomes smaller and smaller and smaller each and every time you do the little thing. The little thing that gets you closer to feeling comfortable expressing yourself. If you're looking into starting your own business but you have a lot of fear around of it, start small. Just sell one thing. Just, just market that one thing and it will grow. It will grow the more that you believe in it. And maybe the best way for you to believe in it is to see the little wins. See the little promises of hope and to begin to gather them. Look at them. Look at the little wins that the universe is giving you. Your overall energy for the month of July is that of the Wheel of Fortune Cancer. Meaning that whatever you have now, your fortune is changing. Where you have felt at the bottom, where you have felt empty or unsatisfied or even a little bit hopeless, because you begin to step up and believe in yourself and believe that you matter, that your feelings matter, your emotions matter, that you are allowed to feel special. You are allowed to be cared for as much as you care for others. This is a turning of your fortune. This is where things change. This is an extremely pivotal moment in your life much like I have said within this series of these cancer eclipses with the astrological setups the way that they are I truly believe that there is a moment early on in July maybe even late in June there is simply a moment when we know that things will never be the same what do you want them to be cancer what do you want them to be? Do you want them to be the four of cups, an energy of feeling like the world will never give you what you deserve and you'll always be in disappointment? Or is it the six of cups? Is it those dreams coming true? The things that you really loved, even as a child, your idea of love and relationships, you get to come back to that. And it gets to be okay. And not only are people willing to partake in this energy, but they're asking you to lead them, to show them how. Bottom of the tech, two of pentacles. No longer juggling between the two sides of yourself. The one that says you must appear strong that you must show this illusion that you have it all together or the one that says it's okay to tell people that you need help. It's okay to tell people that you need love. It's okay to tell people that you expect more. You know, cancers ask very little of people. They will do so much more than what others will give them and that's their nature. The problem is when you continually give to relationships that don't give back, you slip into a moment of resentment. And you don't want to create anything new from a place of resentment. So you're juggling your hopes and dreams with your resentments of the past and something has to give. 
It just has to. The universe will make it so. In order for you to change the path that you're on. Now the astrology cards that I pulled for you this month came out quite clear as well. The card of Mercury. As I said, you have Mercury moving retrograde through your sign, meaning there's a lot of reconciling with your past this month, with past versions of yourself. The, the you that settled for so little in relationships for so long because you were afraid to speak up. Maybe you didn't realize how very much you did deserve, how very important you were to people. You may be realizing that you are the solid foundation for so many people in your life, that people are counting on you. And so it's important for you to understand, for you to feel safe communicating the things that you need. Mercury can also mean that things are going to move quickly. Mercury means that what you see going one way may completely take a turn unexpectedly, offering you something you didn't see coming. Keep your eyes open and communicate as much as possible this month, even if you have to communicate with some exes, some ghosts from the past, maybe past employees, past employers, whatever it is that you're reckoning with, the information you receive, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to get back together with these people or invite the drama back into your life. But you do have to look at it as a, this was an old version of me and I am not that anymore. I have grown so much during the course of these two years. You start to take pride in it. You start to see the progress. Mercury is progress. The next card you pulled was Gemini. Venus, now moving direct in the month of July, revisiting the push and pull, experiencing a final retrograde, but at this time, Venus has risen. She's in a very powerful place as she squares Neptune and she crashes those illusions that no longer serve her and begins to find her home in the people that want to give her what she has earned, that want to love her and nurture her and appreciate her for who she is. Gemini, again, there are two sides to every story and each story should be heard and talked about. Gemini energy, you may have choices to make. Venus in Gemini says choose love, choose compassion, follow your heart. Be brave enough to follow your heart and the rest of us will follow. You're the leader now, Cancer. Your oracle card for the month. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. You are the leader, Cancer. I can't express it enough. What you have gone through in the past two years, suddenly an entire country is catapulted into that energy. And you get to show them that by facing the fears, there is always a choice. Fear or love? Do we hold on to relationships because we're afraid of not knowing what will happen if those people aren't in our lives. We mastered that this year. We mastered that. We learned to let go. We learned to trust the universe. And now you're teaching others. 
that they have to trust the universe. You become a teacher. You become a teacher because you have become such an intense witness to where the fear gets you and how it does not serve you. And you step up able to grasp the lessons and teach others the same. Your energies for the month. You're going from the starfish to the whale. Grasp that for a moment. The starfish is an energy that stays shallow. You may have been in relationships, quite honestly, the starfish is known for being pretty, known for making things beautiful. You know, there's like a Libra energy with it, but there's a fear of going deep. They stay shallow, they hold on to the edge. When you're learning how to swim, the worst thing that you could do is just continue to hold on to the edge. Yes, you'll stay safe, but you'll never get to feel the freedom of swimming in open water, of not needing to hold on and grasp to things so tightly. And there you are, by the end of the month, swimming in the deepest of waters, owning your authority, being the beacon of light for others. Showing people how you have grown and expanded in your wisdom and teaching them how to do the same. Cancers is going to be a really amazing month for you. I do want to pull a couple of cards here to clarify because it's your birthday and I always try to do that for my birthday signs. So just going to pull a couple here. I'm going to take a look at the seven of wands. See exactly what is the energy for my cancers for the seven of wands. Now keep in mind, because I'm doing an overall reading for the collective for many people, you know, you could be here because you have a sun, moon, ascendant, Venus, or Mars, or any other placement, whatever called you here. This energy may vary for a lot of people, but let me see if I could pick up any more information on the Seven of Wands. The Star and the Death card in reverse. You are done playing it small and not being seen, Cancer. This is an end of you not being recognized for the love that you give and what you have to offer. Be that in a family atmosphere, in a work atmosphere, with friends. This is ending a cycle of you not being noticed. And it's ending your delaying the transformation. I think since January, my cancers have been sort of delaying this transformation that they've known is coming within themselves. July says, not only do we know you're ready, but you know you're ready. And it's time to go. Mercury means it's time to go. I also want to get an idea of what this Four of Cups is. Oh, stay there. Okay. All right. These are, uh, see, Ten of Swords... Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. You know, Cancer, I think in a lot of ways, 
you're ending a cycle of trying to convince others to build with you. You may have struggled with a feeling like you were surrounded by people that didn't really believe in you. Maybe you were just, you know, I hate to say it in a, you just weren't seen for the qualities that you brought out, for the qualities that you encompass. I think you spent a lot of time trying to convince others that you're the right fit for a job or you would make a perfect spouse or, you know, maybe there's a need to appear like you're the mom that just knows everything and has her shit together, you know, like that PTA mom, whatever it is. I think that you spent a lot of time in your past trying to get others to see you at a level of perfection. And the Nine of Cups is kind of like where you stand in your authority and you say, no, you know what? I don't need to be perfect for anybody. I don't need to be the perfect spouse. I don't need to be the perfect employee. I am allowed to make mistakes. I'm allowed to have bad days. I'm allowed to have emotions. I'm allowed to want things. I'm allowed to expect things in return. The Nine of Cups says, no, I don't need anybody to fill my cups. I have more than enough, but I am not going to go out and fill other people's cups for them unless it's worth it, unless it's worth my time and energy. What you don't see coming is that you're going to get to this place where you simply don't need other people. Their opinions don't matter. It's how you feel about yourself. It's what you feel you're capable of that takes center stage in July. And the second you step into that authority, everything is gonna change rapidly around you. And you just need to let it happen. Just continue to do that seven of pentacles flow, just being yourself, making decisions for yourself. That's what it's all about in July. And then things just sort of vibrate towards you. You know, you attract things at a different frequency and these are higher quality. These are things that believe in you because you believe in yourself. That's how the universe works. And especially when we have a Pluto-Jupiter conjunction in retrograde, you will receive what you have coming to you for the work you've put in. And seeing all of these tens suggests it has been a lot of work. And that ten of cups for you, that final piece to the puzzle is when you start to realize that people love you the way that you love yourself and that the most important thing that will change your life the most important way to change your wheel of fortune in your favor is by knowing that you deserve it and it's already yours All right, Cancer, I wish you the very best July. I hope you get a chance to really enjoy summer if you're here in the Northern Hemisphere. Really get a chance to be out in the sun, be with family. I hope the social distancing becomes a little bit less, I don't know, to me it's exhausting at this point. And I hope that we all find safety and health, good health. Much love to you, Cancer. Thanks. Bye.